Hi everyone, I'm very excited to be going through the question on mole concept quiz 1. In this video, we will go through step by step how to tackle a question like this. So this is the question that we will be going through for the entire video. Mary would like to find the percentage composition of calcium carbonate in limestone. She added 0.10 grams of limestone to 30 cm cube of 0.1 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid. The resultant solution is then titrated against 0.1 mole per dm cube sodium hydroxide solution. 12 cm cube of sodium hydroxide solution is required to completely neutralize the excess acid. Find the percentage composition of calcium carbonate in the sample of limestone. This question is available at my blog, which is chemistry for sg olevelblogspotcom The exact link is available in red below. Numerical solution is also provided in my blog. Alright, so now let's start with the first step for attempting such a question. So let's look at what are the reactions involved. You may like to pause the video for a moment to identify the reactions that are involved. So, have you found the reactions that are involved? Let's go through this step by step. The first reaction that we see is Mary adding 0.10 grams of limestone to 30 cm cube of 0.1 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid. So limestone is actually a mixture, so we are more interested in the chemical component that actually reacts with hydrochloric acid. So in this case, it is calcium carbonate in limestone that has reacted with hydrochloric acid. Under the acid-base chapter, you learn that carbonates react with acid to form salt, water, and carbon dioxide. So next, Let's write out the equation for this reaction. Next, let's look at the question to see if there are other reactions that are involved. So in the next statement, we see that the resultant solution is then titrated against 0.1 mole per dm cube sodium hydroxide solution. So what reacts with sodium hydroxide? It should be the excess acid from reaction 1. You have learned that acid plus alkali will give salt plus water only. So next, let's write the reaction between sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. There are two reactions that are involved in this question. So have you gotten them? You will only need the chemical equation for calculation. So let me take away the word equation. Because this is a calculation question, you need to make use of the numbers to do some calculation. I would like you to pause this video for a moment to look at what are the numerical information provided. Are you ready? Alright, the first number that we see here is 0 0.10 grams of limestone. Okay, and in our chemical equation, we see calcium carbonate. So, it's all the 0 0.10 grams of limestone calcium carbonate? No, it is not. If not, you won't be asked to find the percentage composition of calcium carbonate in limestone. So, we know that of this 0 0.10 grams of limestone, only a certain percentage of it is calcium carbonate. Okay, let's look for the next piece of information. So just a few words later, we see 30 cm cube of 0.1 mole per dm cube of hydrochloric acid. So if you were to read the question further, you'll notice that 30 cm cube of 0.1 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid is used for both reaction 1 and 2. Reason is because we know that the acid in reaction 1 is in excess and it is only completely neutralized in reaction 2. Okay, the next numbers that we see is 0 0.1 mole per dm cube sodium hydroxide and the volume of sodium hydroxide used is 12 cm cube.
Okay, I've covered all the numerical information that is given in this question. So next, let's go on to calculation. You may like to pause this video to try the calculations. Okay, so this is the calculation time. We have both the reactions involved as well as the numerical information provided. So what would we be doing? Alright, first let's find out the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. So you have learned that number of moles is equal to volume in dm cube multiplied by concentration in mole per dm cube. Next, let's find the number of moles of hydrochloric acid used for both reaction 1 and 2. Using the same formula, volume in dm cube multiplied by concentration. Let's put the number of moles of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide which we have found in the blue table. With this, we know that the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in reaction 2 is 0 0.0012 moles. So we can proceed to find the number of moles of hydrochloric acid that has reacted in reaction 2. Looking at this equation for reaction 2, we know that 1 mole of sodium hydroxide reacts with 1 mole of hydrochloric acid. As such, 0 0.0012 mole of sodium hydroxide will react with 0 0.0012 moles of hydrochloric acid. Now, since we have found the number of moles of hydrochloric acid involved in reaction 2, and we also know the total amount of hydrochloric acid used in reaction 1 and 2, we can find the number of moles of hydrochloric acid used in reaction 1. Once we know the number of moles of hydrochloric acid involved in reaction 1, we know the number of moles of calcium carbonate used in reaction 1. From the equation, we know that 1 mole of calcium carbonate will react with 2 moles of hydrochloric acid. As such, 0.0018 mole of hydrochloric acid will react with 0.0018 divided by 2 moles of calcium carbonate. Or in other words, 0.0009 moles of calcium carbonate would have reacted. Since we know the number of moles of calcium carbonate, we can find the mass of calcium carbonate. Mass is equal to mole times mR. We have found that 0.09 grams of calcium carbonate is present in 0.10 grams of limestone. Hence, to find percentage composition of calcium carbonate in limestone, we take 0.09 divided by 0.10 times 100%. And the answer for this question is 90%. This is the overall working for this question. The final answer is 90%. To revise more concepts, you may like to visit my blog at chemistry4sg-olevel.blogspot.com Click on the notes heading in the blog and you'll see a list of all the notes available in this blog. Look for more concept formula as well as more concept learning for examples to revise more concept. If you like to try more questions, whether is it from more concept or from other chapters, click on the tab on question bank. Many of the images that you see in these videos are from Pixabay and these are available for free. So many thanks to Pixabay. Of course, I'd like to thank you as well for watching this video. Do feel free to put your comments in this video. And if you like it, please like us on YouTube. Thank you. I'm Emily Wong and I hope you have benefited from this video. Goodbye.